87 yard drive for Faith Christian. They did it. 10 plays. The majority of those were pass plays in 3 minutes and 31 seconds. It all started off a mishandled snap. The Bee Diggers were deep in Faith Christian territory. A potential 21 nothing lead has turned into a 14 7 game. Jay Hansen is back along with Joe Rosenbrock standing inside the 15-yard line as Evan Marshall will kick it away. If the V-Diggers don't capitalize here or respond to this, that could be a turning point in the game. Ball bounces to 17, still loose, picked up at the 10 by Hansen, running straight to the 20-yard line. That's a seam. He runs over an eagle across the 25 to the 31-yard line. That was lowering a right shoulder and taking down an eagle. He could have been down at around the 25, and instead he gained an additional six yards, first and 10 to begin the drive for the beat diggers at the 31. Once he got a hold of that football, boy, he did take off. It was, there was no denying him. He was going to run right up the middle. And the Bee Diggers counter Faith Christian score. Keep in mind that Brush does receive the second half kickoff. We have 6.01 to go, and the Bee Diggers would like to go on a methodical drive here midway through the second quarter. On first and 10, Garcia will hand it off right side to Seawald. He's got some room as he dives to around the 34-yard line, a gain of three. Stacked up over there by Cameron Cambier, the 5'11", 210-pound senior lineman. Oh, they'll give him only two to the 33 as they push that football back a bit, second down and eight, and this is gut check time for the beat diggers. It sure is, and it's weird to say that when we're up 14-7, but I think a lot of people started celebrating a little early, and then all of a sudden the state scored and kind of took that momentum back, and making people tighten up a little bit. Second down and eight from the 33-yard line. Garcia on the pitch left gets it to Rosenbrock. He's got nowhere to go, and he's going to be taken down to the 34, but there is a face-masking penalty against Faith Christian. The face mask was pulled back at the 31-yard line as he was trying to extricate himself, let's say, from the Faith Christian defender, separate himself, and it'll be a five-yarder, it looks like, but this will be second and short now. You bet, and we'll take it. I'll tell you what, uh, it's nice to see Rosenbrock touching the football because he's such a great player and he hasn't had a lot of touches yet. And That could be part of the strategy there, getting in that football with those fresh legs here later on. Yeah, the face mask was grabbed but not pulled. So it'll be second down and just two to go now at the 39-yard line. The bead diggers can breathe a little bit easier, but still plenty of time to go in the second quarter, 5-15, leading 14-7. The backfielder, Seawald and Rosenbrock. Kukas is the receiver to the left. The Bee Diggers have not attempted a pass tonight. Garcia hands it off left side, Seawald, and he spins to the 40, still on his feet, and he drives and he's still on his feet, carrying defenders to the 44, and it's a Bee Digger first down. Holy mahongas, that should have been a gain of one. Instead, it's a gain of close to six for Skyner Seawald. I asked how his football helmet come off in that play. I think he had to grab a hold of it to pull him to the ground. But he just wasn't going to be denied. And that's, that's why he has such huge carries every time. That's why his averages are so big. Well, they'll give him five to the 44. But nonetheless, that is just a superhuman effort by Skyler Seawald. Northeastern Colorado's hometown savings and loan with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan is equitable savings and loan. First and 10 for the Beat Diggers at their own 44 yard line. Seawald, despite that carry, remains in the backfield along with Rosenbrock. No rest for double S. Garcia, play action, looking to throw. He's up the left side line, and Kukas is out there, but it's overthrown. Kukas had the defense beat for Faith Christian at around the 30 yard line, but it was overthrown by a couple of yards. Yeah, he had him beat by five yards, and he was overthrown by five yards. But I'll tell you what, that's awesome because that forces the faith coaches to think about what they're doing as far as trying to bottle it up in the box there and try to stop that running game. It's going to stretch that defense out down the field, and that's going to open the running game up more. Second down and 10, Garcia receives play instructions from head coach Randy Dreitz. The B-Diggers are up by a touchdown. They score their touchdowns in the first quarter on two Garcia runs. Evan Marshall with a 40-yard touchdown catch off the arm of Alex Buckman on second and 10. 
Hansen in motion to the right. Garcia will hand it off right side to Skyder Seawall. Cuts it back towards the middle. He's into the clear at the 40-yard line. Down the left side, under the 30. Needs a block from Kukas, but he's knocked out of bounds inside the 20 to around the 18-yard line. A big run for Skyder Seawall, who started right and ran left. And it's a beat bigger first down. That'll be a gain of 34. You know, he was just running a, an off tackle again at 26 cross over the right side, but he just kept cutting it back. And the poor old C.J. Kukas was looking back to see if he could make a block on the on the inside, and, and the kid instead uh, was that made the tackle was coming from the outside. Let's give him a gain instead of 38. Yeah, 38 yards for Skyler Seawall. The football resting at the 18-yard line. Man in motion to the right is Hanson. Garcia is going to hand it off right up the gut and driving his way inside the 10, still on his feet. And let's see, is the ball loose? I think uh, the ball is loose. And I think that was handed off once again to Seawald. No. Nope. To Connor Weiser instead. And the beat diggers, no, they do have the football. It was Weiser, nearly stripped, but it's a gain of 8 to the 10. It'll be second down and 2. Yeah, you can't commit mistakes here at this point considering how efficient the beat digger offense has been. That's right. To have two uh, turnovers right down there on that end of the field, it'd just be devastating. All right, now Seawald is in, and Weiser, I believe, is going to stay in. Yeah, they're both in that huddle. Marcus Bannister is racing out of the game. That's good for the beat diggers, considering how good he's been. Second down and two from the 10-yard line. Garcia hands it off to Weiser, running off right tackle. First down as he drives his way to around the six before he's stacked up by Evan Marshall. Along with the left side of that Faith Christian defensive line, it's a gain of four. First and goal for the beat diggers. You know why they left those two bruisers in there together? Because they left Seawall down at fullback. They stood Weiser up right behind, and they ran out of the eye and just ran an ISO straight ahead. Weiser just followed Seawall for four yards. Well, now Weiser's going to take a break, and Joe Rosenbrock is into the game. First and goal from the six for the beat diggers, leading 14-7. to seven. Rosenbrock in that backfield. And in motion to the left is Hansen. Hard count for Garcia. Bootleg left, looking for a block. Swings it to the outside. He's going to score inside the pylon. Eric Garcia, he has the angle. He scores from four yards away. Garcia with three touchdowns in the game. Rush 20, Faith Christian 7. 65 yards for Garcia on six carries. Uh, Skyler Seawald's got 10 carries for 93 yards now. Weiser's got eight carries for 39. Boy, there's three boys that are doing some big numbers tonight. Now the extra point to be attempted by Jesus Cardenas. This guy's been automatic pretty much this season. Off the hold of Garcia. He puts it down, and the kick is up. And the kick is right in between the uprights. 3.31 to go. Second quarter. Brush 21, Faith Christian 7 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. 